This video is on exponent rules, in particular the zero exponent rule. So the zero exponent rule tells us any base that has an exponent of zero always equals one. Now I'm going to show you two different reasons to why that rule works. Well, the first one, if we had x squared over x squared, let's think about if we had 5 over 5. What would that equal? 5 divided by itself. Anything divided by itself is always 1. Well, isn't that what this is saying? If you have x to the second power divided by x to the second power, it should equal 1. Now, if we write it out, it looks like this. So we have the same number over the same number, which we see over here with actual numbers is 1. So it essentially cancels out and makes 1. This cancels out and makes 1. So our final answer we see is 1. Now, if we use the rule that we learned in the last video, which is if we're dividing, which we are, that's what that line there means, we subtract the exponents. So if we subtract 2 minus 2, we get 0. So we would have x and the exponent would be 0, thus showing us that anything to the 0 power is 1. So a 0 exponent represents when all the variables divide, when all the variable, if it's x squared over x squared, they all divide out and make 1. So typically, like if we had a positive exponent, like 2 to the 4th power has a positive exponent, that equals 16, and then 2 to the 3rd power, that equals 8, because it's telling us how many times to multiply the base. And then if we add 2 to the second power, that's 4, because 2 times 2, that's what it represents. And then if we add 2 to the first power, that just means we just have a 2. So if you look at this pattern here, this is another way to show that any base with the power of 0, this pattern always is going to work here. In this case, if we divide by the base, which is 2, we get the next number in the pattern here. So therefore, 2 divided by 2 gives us that next number in the pattern, which is 1. Thus showing here that anything to the 0 power is 1. Alright, let's do some examples here. Remember, as you get comfortable, pause the video and try them yourselves. So here we have 2 fourths, that's a half. And then 3 minus 3 is 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1. So they cancel out and make 1. And the reason why we don't have to write 1 is because if I do, if I put 1 here, 1 times 1 is just 1. So that's why it's just 1 half. Okay, here we have 12 divided by 6, which is 2. Subtract the exponent, so 5 minus 3 is 2, it's positive, so it goes on the top. And then here we have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So if I put y to the 0 there, it just equals 1. And anything times 1 is itself. So that's why they just cancel out. It doesn't make zero, the exponent zero, and anything with a zero exponent is one. But we don't need to write it because when it's multiplied with the rest of it, it just equals itself. All right, here we have seven to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is one. And again, when an exponent is zero, it represents something like this. Because the same thing over the same thing is 1. 
In other words, you'd have three sevens on top, you'd have three on the bottom, and they all make one. So that's why it's one. Okay, here, the zero exponent is only going to the seven. On this problem here, it was just going with the seven, so it equaled one. But on this problem here, it has a negative and the negative gets dropped down. So anything to the zero power, in this case, is seven. If we wanted the negative included, it would have been written like this. Then that is also anything including the negative to the zero power is one, but it wasn't written like that. So this negative right here just gets brought down here. Okay, in this problem here, the negative is in parentheses here. So that means include it. So this is equal to one. Okay, so an exponent only goes with, like if we had this, a five next to an x means multiply. And then x squared looks like this. So this exponent here only goes with the base that's immediately to the left. So in this problem here, this zero is only going to this x right here. So this is equal to one. So it's saying five times an x to the zero power is one. So five times one is five. If the answer to this problem was supposed to be one, it would look like this. This equals one. But the problem didn't have the parentheses. So the zero is only going with the x. Okay, like this problem here. This whole quantity is in parentheses. So this whole thing has a power of zero, so it equals one.